Well, hello, my darlings, and welcome back to our channel. I am so glad you are here today on Danny's Designs Craftsman's 2018 Day 29. I am going to show you how to create a glam tastic diamond crusted cake pedestal. I sure hope you'll stay tuned. For this project, you will need two of these six-piece ornaments, a few embellishments, any type of your choosing, any color. You will need two of these 12-inch round mirrors, one 12 by 4-inch styrofoam round. You will need some silver metallic paint, any brand. And of course, you will need your diamond wrap, any style of your choosing. Of course, you will need your handy dandy tools. Let's get crafting. So the first thing we're going to have to do to prepare for this craft is take our styrofoam and paint the sides of it in a silver metallic acrylic paint. Now the reason why we're doing this is so that when we go to put down our diamond wrap, we are not going to be backing that diamond wrap up on that white styrofoam. The silver paint is going to give us a nice bridge between the diamond wrap itself and the styrofoam. So as you can see, all I'm doing here, not with any great precision at all whatsoever, it's just taking that paint, spreading it out, and using Using my brush to apply a nice thin layer of it. I am going to take this paint all the way back around to the other side making sure that I'm filling in all of the nooks and the crannies of that styrofoam with this silver paint. Now just in case you are wondering, no you cannot spray paint styrofoam um, <laughs> metallic silver because that spray paint will of course eat your styrofoam because of the chemical reaction that you're going to create and so if you plan on recreating this just please make sure that you're using acrylic paint for this step. And of course, it depends on your color theme, whatever color it is that you're using, whether it's your diamond wrap or to match your event, any acrylic paint color will do. So now that our styrofoam round has been painted with our silver paint and dried, what we're going to do now is glue our mirror atop our styrofoam. Now, we're working with two mirrors for this craft. We're going to place one on top and we're going to place one on the bottom. And the reason why I'm placing my hot glue on the mirror as opposed to on the styrofoam is, yes, you guessed it, I work with a high heat glue gun. And so if I were to place that glue on that styrofoam, it would go straight through and melt it and so in an effort to ameliorate that I am placing my hot glue on the back of the mirror itself so by the time I pick it up and flip it over that hot glue would have had an opportunity to cool just a tad and that way my styrofoam would not melt so here we have our styrofoam that has been topped with our mirrors both on top and on the bottom and what we're going to do now is take our diamond wrap and simply glue this down in the middle of that styrofoam. To do this it's quite simple, simply going to go in with my hot glue making a few bullets placing that diamond wrap to sit in the hot glue that I just placed and allowing it to set for a few moments. Of course, we're going to repeat this step as many times as necessary to get us right back around to the other side 
And once you do, or I should say rather what I did was I cut off just a little more than I actually needed. And so I have a little amount or a little bit that I can overlap to close that diamond wrap when I get back to the other side. So I'm just going to continue this process off camera. And when I come back, I will show you how I closed this up. Now, before I show you how we close our gap with our embellishments, I'm going to show you how we're going to put legs on these. And of course, this part is completely optional, whether you want to put legs on yours or you would like to use a different type of material. But what I'm going to do is simply hot glue these silver ornaments that I purchased at the dollar store and instead of using only four of them to make four legs I'm actually going around with a set of eight now for the purpose of this video I'm only using hot glue however I would recommend using a combination of that hot glue and a permanent glue so here we have our piece with our legs that we just placed, our silver legs to match our diamond, diamond wrap. And now what I'm doing here is I'm actually looking for the overlap where I closed my piece with the diamond wrap getting back to the other side. Here it is. And so now what I'm going to do just to obscure that a little bit more, you really can't see it, but I am going to place a piece or rather an embellishment or a snowflake is what it's called <laughs> on that joint just to further obscure it from the human eye and so just placing some hot glue on the back of that snowflake on the arms as well as well as on the middle piece and simply holding it in place until it sets remember we're working with styrofoam that styrofoam is backed of course with with, um, that metallic diamond wrap and so it might take a few moments for that piece to set into place in the meantime I'm going to clean my glass clean any glue fronds that I can find and then I will stage this to show you our finished project well here you have it my darlings our glam diamond crusted cake pedestal isn't this just absolutely beautiful in its simplicity? Now listen, we did not spend a lot of time creating this, nor did we spend a lot of money, but can you imagine what this would look like in a pair or in a trio decorating your holiday table this year? I can only imagine. And if you look a little closely, you can see where just to highlight or bring out the blue of our tablecloth, I used some blue string lights and tucked them away up under the glass of this beautiful cake pedestal that we have just created. My darlings, I think I will have to say that once again, we have nailed yet another project and we have done so on a budget. And so if you have found any value in this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. To my Danny's darlings, I just would like to tell you thank you for all of the love, the comments, the questions, the feedback. But most importantly, my darlings, for the encouragement, please know that none of it is wasted and I appreciate each and every one of you. To those of you who may not yet be Danny's darlings, however, we would like to humbly ask you to consider joining us for the 2019 New Year that is upon us. Take a chance with us and come to become a member of this wonderful growing community of DIYers who learn from and craft with each other on a weekly basis. We would love to have you. And of course, if you do subscribe today, kindly remember to ring the notification bell to ensure that you will be made available anytime any of our videos have been published as well as whenever we go live as a community. And so my 
darlings, before I sign off of day number 20. Nine of Danny's Designs Craftmas 2018. I'm going to leave you with the motto to our channel, which is simply this. Say it with me if you know it. Why, by, when, you can DIY. And so, my darlings, until next time, when I see you for day 30, the final installation of Danny's Designs Craftmas 2. 2018 I say to you please 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 take care of yourselves for me know that I love you all <laughs> bye now